of yet another encore presentation of the parade for this late breaking news. A dangling truck. A struggling rescue vehicle. A life hanging in the balance. Don't worry, Edgar. Everything's gonna be fine. It will be fine, won't it, Boulder? I hope so. Hold on just a little longer, buddy. Cavalry's here. Robot behavior, guys. You're on TV. Heat wave. Ladder. Got it. I mean, as you command. I trust your emergency brake is properly engaged, Boulder. Yeah. Not doing much good, though. Hop on, Edgar. Easy does it. Just want to make sure you're okay. And the Burns family pulls off yet another stunning rescue. Now, for securing that highly toxic payload. driving chase chief burnt is this not proof of what i've suspected and reported all along that aliens are living here in griffin rock under our very noses uh, what exactly do you mean mr prescott that a crop circle <laughs> well technically it's not a crop or a circle that's where the mayor and his wife have the grass cut for their weekly picnic. Well, my search for truth, dear viewers, will never wane. This is Huxley Prescott, digging for dirt, so you don't have to. Don't worry, Chase. He's not mad. The Chief has every right to be mad. Tasked with keeping our true identities a secret, I failed miserably. I'm a shameless rebel. Yeah, you are. Didn't know you had it in you. Don't worry, buddy. You made the right call. If it wasn't for you, we'd be cleaning up a toxic spill for the next week. Sir, slap a wheel boot on me. I deserve nothing less. I'm not here to reprimand anyone. I should have made this clear long ago. When lives are at risk, never hesitate to act, even if it means revealing your true identities. Sir, Optimus does not believe humanity is ready for the truth. Optimus would be the first to agree with me. If the secret gets out, we'll deal with it. Saving lives is always priority one. You still believe anyone on this rock would care that we're from Cybertron? We do help people. That ought to be proof we come in peace. It would be nice if we didn't have to act like mindless robots anymore. Some of us aren't very good at it anyway. <clears throat> I realize this has been difficult for all of you. But for now, we keep the truth to ourselves. Understood? Yes, yes sir. sir. 
Nice job today, team. <laughs> and so the charade continues. Wow! Astounding work, Dr. Green. Just a little something I patched together in my off hours? Dad, I can't believe you built a set edition and didn't tell me. We can use this dish to eavesdrop on other life forms across the galaxy. That's what SETI stands for, Mr. Prescott. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Actually, little girl, I'm more concerned with what aliens out in space are saying to their spies here in Griffin Rock. You think aliens live here? Mr. Prescott can believe whatever he likes, Frankie. Especially since he paid to build this dish. Now, move aside. Oh, plug me in, Dr. Green. Well, first we turn this amplifier dial to normal power. And then you just listen. If you hear something unfamiliar, turn the dial all the way up. But don't leave it at that level for very long, or the system will overload. Finally, I will have proof that aliens from outer space are hiding among us. Connection to Griffin Rock Satellite successful. Movie time! I vote for an action film, preferably with high-speed pursuits. Comedy, please. I am so in the mood to laugh. Ooh, how about a romance? Uh, forget that. Put on a war movie. We're going to try something new. An historical drama. Oh, oh really? No crap. Come on, Cody. War is part of history. You'll like it. It's about explorers living with natives in an uncharted land. Oh, Please you're get killing me. me. Cody, this hurts inside. The natives have spears and blowguns. Now you're talking. Suspicious of us. We must not yet reveal ourselves to those on the island. Soon, ten ships will arrive, followed by ten more. Oh. We will call this the New World. It's worse than I thought. Griffin Rock is on the brink of a full-scale alien invasion. I used to think everything on Earth was interesting. This is a Griffin Rock emergency announcement. Huxley Prescott reporting live from my new SETI dish, where only moments ago I intercepted this secret communication sent to Griffin Rock from outer space. We must not yet reveal ourselves to those on the island. Soon, ten ships will arrive, what? followed hmm? by ten more. Huh? We will call this the New World. At this very moment, aliens are establishing a beachhead on our island in advance of their invasion. You have permission to be afraid. Very afraid. Alien communication? No way. Huxley must have made that up. I'm trying to save face after embarrassing himself today. Yeah, but this time, someone might actually believe him. Well, I'd like to think that no one in this town will pay any attention to... But what do I know? Griffin Rock Emergency. Yes, Mr. Buffkin. No. No, I don't know why aliens would abduct your cows. Let's suit up. Uh, hold, please, Mr. Buffkin. Griffin Rock Emergency. Cody, command center. On my way. But I just saw your husband earlier, Mrs. Pruitt. Edgar is not a giant cockroach from Mars. Griffin Rock Emergency. Hi, Mr. Perkins. Moon people are eating your corn? <laughs> oh! Mr. Perkins, are you all right? They're coming. They're coming. Boulder, transform.
Cody, let Mr. Buffkin know we found his missing cows. If we come across an alien, I hope it's just that small squishy one who's looking for a phone. Hey, Danny, I'm getting a bunch of calls about a UFO taking off from Town Square. We'll check it out. What are you doing, Milo? Going hunting for flying saucers. I need you to land this thing before you hurt yourself. Sorry, Danny. I have a right to defend my home! Um. You see, Mrs. Niederlander? Mr. Pettipaws wasn't abducted. He was just in a tree. Again. What is going on here? Warning, sir. A frantic pedestrian is approaching. <laughs> They're after us! They're here! You're next! <laughs> Mayor, nobody is after us. No, no! You're in danger, can't you see? They're everywhere! Just get, get out! It's just a brownout, Mayor. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Now turn off that air raid siren before... Th oh, the whole town's gone nuts. All right, team. Listen up. Dad, I can barely hear you. The power's going crazy here. It's happening all over the island, Cody, which is why I want Kate, Danny, and Graham to meet me at the power plant, and maybe we can... Dad? Anybody? <gasps> The aliens are cutting communications, the first step before a full-scale invasion. Get off the island any way you can before it's... This doesn't make any sense. Boulder, where's Graham? Inside. Graham? Um, when did this place get so creepy? Man. You shouldn't sneak around like that. Sorry. I just... I was by myself, and the comm lines were down, and... Uh... I was worried about you. Appreciate that, son. You can help us look for Graham. I already found him. Follow me. Just an owl. You're all a little too jumpy. For good reason. I've seen pictures of aliens. They hug your face and lay eggs in your tummy. No. They're round blobs that swallow everything in their path, including vehicles. That is incorrect. Aliens are cloaked hunters, but they can't see you if you're covered in mud. Let's look for some mud. Just to remind you, we're aliens. How did you even get in here? Through one of the bunker tunnels. It leads right to the basement. I thought everybody knew that. What have you learned, Graham? Uh, something is siphoning the energy from the power plant. You mean like aliens? You saying aliens are stealing our electricity? 
I didn't want to believe it, but maybe Huxley's right. Guys, let Graham finish what he was saying. Well, from what I can tell, the energy is going straight to Huxley Prescott's SETI dish. Why does that not surprise me? All right, so we just need to shut the dish down, right? Right, before it overloads. What would happen then? A power surge so huge that it would blow up every electrical device on the island, including this power plant. <gasps> the entrance! We have to get back there before the power goes out. Ah, too late. The electronic locks are offline. We're stuck inside. Keyways, can you hear me? We hear you. The door is sealed. Stand back. There's no time. We'll take the tunnels. Heat wave, you and your team get to the SETI dish and disable it. Hurry, people's lives are at stake. On our way. We'll be driving without occupants. If anyone sees us, our cover is blown. It's pretty obvious even to me that humans aren't ready to learn about us. But like Chief said, saving lives is priority one. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue. Frankie, stay in the car. Has the National Guard been summoned? The Navy? Where are the evacuation choppers? There's no alien invasion, Huxley. Then how do you explain the lost communications and the blackout? My guess is you left the amplifier dial on high. And I'm right. Your SETI dish has been pulling energy from all over town, and now it's overloading. Well, well I... That doesn't mean there aren't aliens, and they're definitely invading, I assure you that. Then they might want to rethink their plans, because these controls are fried, and we're about to have a power surge that could crater half the island. Where are the Burnses? Chief! Chief! You must destroy the dish! It's our only hope! I don't think Chief Burns can hear you, Dad. There's no one inside those robots. Then who's giving them instructions? Activate camera. Record mode. Robots without masters. Could they be our aliens? Are they the ones who received that mysterious communication from space? Since Chief Burns and his family are not here... That's not true, Mr. Prescott. Robots, return. Mission accomplished. Awaiting further commands. That'll do for now. Vehicle modes, please. I, I, th I thought they... Why I built you that dish, I'll never know. You and your imaginary aliens nearly blew up the island. Imaginary? How can you deny this evidence? We must not yet reveal ourselves to those on the island. Soon, ten... Wait, that's the show we just watched. Endured is more like it. We will call this the new world. Wait a minute. Now I get it. That transmission didn't come from aliens. It came from a movie. A movie? Cody, what are you talking about? I watched it tonight. It's called The Natives of Tatooie. Oh, 
Cody streamed the film through the Griffin Rock satellite, and Huxley's dish picked up on the signal. That explains everything. But I... 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 Unbelievable, Hux. Yeah, do you have any idea what you put us all through? We've been out all night. You know what they say about digging for dirt, Huxley. It gets your hands dirty. Let's go calm down the masses, everyone. <laughs> I don't think you'll need to, Chief. Huxley's been broadcasting live ever since the power came back on. Whoa. Dad, are vehicles capable of driving themselves? Not yet, Frankie. That's something I'm still working on. Hmm. See you, Frankie. Night, Cody. Wait! Have the aliens just been toying with us? Are they watching right now? Come out! Show yourselves! Oh. Coming up on the Hub Family Movie, some games are real fun. This is so cool. And some games are just plain real. Incredibly, frighteningly, real. The Hub Family Movie, Zathura, a space adventure. Tonight at 6 Eastern, 3 Pacific on the Hub.